Hey, folks, I am so glad that you're here. This is the show where we naturally get you well and keep you well. We want to teach you the things that you need to do to take control of your own health. And it's a scary time right now. I was just reading an article, actually, before I came on the air uh, about uh, is this the it's going to be the end of insurance companies. And the chances are that it will be because it's becoming a mess and insurance companies aren't working. Obviously, it doesn't work. And they're, they, they're not sure what's going to happen, but maybe hospitals will just cut out insurance and you just pay the hospital a fee every year, like you do an insurance company, and then you have access to the hospital at discounted rates. So that's another option, but that's kind of scary too, because then you have to go to that hospital and see their doctors. And so I want to teach you how to take care of yourself. And then if you do have an emergency, absolutely positively, I want you to go see a professional, but I want to give you the tools that you need to take care of yourself. So today, we're going to teach you some home remedies, things that actually work. So you don't maybe have to run out and spend a lot of money and and have things maybe not work. And many times, there's a side effect. And in fact, a drug by definition has side effects. And I'm not against drugs. And I'm not against surgery. I'm against unnecessary use of drugs and surgery. So that's what we're going to try to teach you today is what you can do to take care of yourself. So common health glitches happen. Uh, You can run to the drugstore, get some oftentimes overpriced relief, or you can open up your refrigerator. So there's there's some no-brainer things I want you to teach you today. So instead of heading to the pharmacy, head to your kitchen and try these first aid fixes. Now, this is not instead of medicine. These are some things that I've tried. I know work and they've worked well, but if you do need medical care, please always go get the medical care. One of my favorites, and this is one I get a lot of questions about, is apple cider vinegar. Now, if you're going to use apple cider vinegar, it's got a ton of different uses. One of the things you can do, and I like this one because it helps, uh, it helps you lose weight. What I want you to do is take about it. It depends how you like. See, I don't like apple cider vinegar, so i got to take a little bit. But up to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar a day. Now, you can mix it with water. You can mix it with honey. You can mix it with uh, stevia. Uh, sometimes I'll make an herbal tea. I always have tea first thing in the morning. And I'll save a little bit, let it cool down, and then I'll add some apple cider vinegar to that. Because you don't want to use heat around the apple cider vinegar. Because the apple cider vinegar has active cultures and it has active bacteria. It's probiotics. And heat can kill off the probiotics, anything above 110 degrees. So what I want you to think about is take a tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar. It's got to be the raw, organic apple cider vinegar. That's the one that works. Take two tablespoons, do it for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and see what happens. Chances are you'll notice that your stomach gets a little flatter, you have a little more energy. Uh, It's kind of cool. Now, it can also help with acid reflux. Now, the number one reason I see patients, and I have a team of doctors, so when you come to my offices, you may see me, you may see my other doctors. Usually, I like to see patients on the first visit, but my team of doctors and I will work with you to help get you well. All my doctors are handpicked by me and trained by me, so don't get worried about that. But the number one reason we see patients is pain. We're chiropractors. I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition. And the number one reason we see patients is pain, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. The number two reason we see patients is heartburn, acid reflux, gas, bloating, diarrhea. And many times they come to us and we can actually take the stomach and pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. But if we're not there to treat you, because I know this show, this show is heard coast to coast and around the world, is you can try apple cider vinegar for acid reflux. It helps neutralize the excess acid. Now, the acid level of apple cider vinegar is uh, more natural, and it doesn't seem to have the side effects that taking medication does. Once again, I'm not against medication, but if you take acid reflux medication, it can prevent you many times from absorbing calcium, B12, iron, and magnesium and absorbing it properly. So you may have a nutritional deficiency because you're not absorbing your nutrients because you're taking a medicine to reduce stomach acid. Now, here's the catch. You need stomach acid. And if you take an antacid or something to reduce stomach acid, you're not digesting your food properly. But if you don't take the antacid or the medication, the acid can come up into your throat and cause things like, oh, I don't know, esophageal cancer, maybe, yes, chronic cough, chronic sinus problems. So you're kind of in a catch-22 here. Apple cider vinegar might solve that problem. Celery, by the way, and spinach and figs also work very well if you have acid reflux. But that doesn't fix the, the cause. It treats the symptoms. It's just maybe a safer way to treat the symptoms. So try it and see and see if you like it. Now, the stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. The amino acid tryptophan combines with vitamin B6 and eventually creates something called serotonin. 
Serotonin is a chemical in your brain that helps you calm down and focus. When you have anxiety, if you're depressed, many times we'll give you medication to try to utilize serotonin more efficiently. What I want to try to do is try to make more serotonin. But here's the catch again. 95% of the serotonin in your body is not used in your brain. It's used in your digestive system. So if your digestive system isn't working, you're not breaking the proteins into amino acids to produce serotonin to make your digestive system work. Did you follow that? So you'd really need to try to get to the cause of the acid reflux. If, and many times it's pulling the stomach away from the diaphragm. And if you go to my website, drjoesposito.com, we have an article on GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. Read that article. It's real short. It's only a couple of paragraphs. And we talk about how you, how, the techniques that we use in my office. Tyrosine becomes dopamine. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter that gives you pleasure. So many times if we're depressed, we might not be experiencing pleasure in life. And that could be from a digestive problem as well. And then uh, uh, glutamine becomes GABA and norepinephrine, which gives you energy and actually suppresses a lot of pain. So when I have pain patients come into my offices, I always want to check their digestive system because if they're not producing the right amount of GABA, G-A-B-A, that stands for a chemical in your brain, you may not be suppressing pain normally. And so pain, pain may be more uh, hyper than the average person. And so what we need to do is fix the digestive system to break the proteins into glutamine to produce the GABA to suppress your pain. So you following all that? Yes, yeah, so we really got to work on getting the digestive system working. Because again, as a chiropractor, the number one reason we see patients is pain. And number two is digestive problems. Now, I have a, a product that's called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser, and it's very gentle. It gently stimulates the bowels to get the bowels moving because normally your bowels move two to three times a day. A day, not a week, not a year, a day. And so you got to make sure that the bowels are moving properly, and that's something that might help as well. And, of course, you might have a pinched nerve in your low back, and that's the nerve that controls the bowels. And there's your little segment on digestion. Now, folks, don't, co don't go anywhere. We'll give you a lot more tips on home health remedies. If you have a question, I'm going to open up the lines. The number is 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my office when I'm not on the air. My website is drjoesposito.com. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. Glad you could spend a little time with me. Today, we're talking about home remedies, things that actually work that you have laying around your house. And it's really kind of cool because these are fun things that I've used over the years. Uh, some have been handed down to me from, you know, uh, family tradition. Some of them I've kind of looked up and researched over the years. But it's really kind of neat. Now, before I go back to them, let's take a call. If you have a question, uh, anything in healthcare, 844-44-DR-JOE is the number here at the studio. Heather, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe. I was wondering if I'm going to start out with your supplements, which one should I start out with? Well, the, the supplements, for those of you who don't know, I, there's two major supplements I, I recommend everybody take, and those are Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Um, essential Source is raw fruits and vegetables in a powder form, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a complete multivitamin. Super Greens is going to alkalize your system. It's going to give you a lot of nutrients. It's going to give you iodine for your thyroid. I prefer you take both, but you're asking me if I had to pick one, huh? Give me a Sophie's Choice here, huh? Um, I just want to start with one and work my way up. I understand. Uh, I would probably say the essential source if I had to pick one. Great. Thank you. Okay. That, that was an easy one. Thanks, Heather. And, folks, if you want to get the supplements, they're on my website, drjoesposito.com, or Google Dr. Joe. Uh, they're also on Amazon, too, if you have an Amazon account. But uh, I take Super Greens and Essential Source every day. In fact, uh, if it's a busy day, like uh, the other day I had to do, I covered a bunch of radio shows. I was guest on a show, and, and I had a busy night. And so I took a double dose of it. But that stuff is the minimum amount of nutrients that you need to get your day going. And, and I always say, if you're not willing to do anything else that I teach you when it comes to health care, at least get on Super Greens and Essential Source. Relatively inexpensive, tastes great. It's a powder. I shake it up in a, in a jar. I use a glass jar, shake it up with some coconut or almond milk, uh, and it works great. So, all right, so today, uh, and that's on the website, drjoesposito.com or Amazon. So we're talking today about uh, home remedies that work. Now, baking soda. A little paste of baking soda and water can take, the way, take away the sting of most bug bites, especially bee stings, since the baking soda neutralizes the acidity of the bee venom. So that's a neat little thing to have around. And any type of skin rash or something, you can put on just a little baking soda as a paste. Also, side note, away from health, 
If you make a paste of baking soda and water and you have stains on your car, if you have cloth seats, you can rub that in, let it dry, vacuum it up, and it works pretty well too. So it's kind of neat. Uh, baking soda is wonderful because it alkalizes your system. Most of us are too acidic. And when we're too acidic, the bo- it's a perfect environment for diseases to, to take hold. Uh, also, if you're too acidic, the body needs to neutralize those acids, and the body uses calcium as its primary neutralizing agent. And so if you're too acidic, your body's going to leach calcium out of the bones to neutralize the acids, and you need calcium not just for bone function, but you need it to buffer the blood. You need it for a lot of different things in the body. And people say, well, I'll just take more calcium. Doesn't work that way because uh, I was uh, at dinner, in fact, last night. And somebody was saying that uh, she takes calcium. And I said, what kind? And she goes, oh, I get it. At, and she mentioned a, you know, a discount store. And I said, well, chances are that calcium is going to be uh, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is not absorbed very easily. Calcium citrate, calcium lactate, those are. Calcium carbonate, not so much. So you want to avoid the acid foods. And those, these are the foods that aren't good for you anyway. And the seven acid foods, what I call the seven deadly sins of nutrition, are alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. My God, that's everything. That's everything you eat, right? Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. So try to avoid those, and you'll be amazed. And as you get older, it's a lot harder to lose weight. Raise your hands if you agree with me. Of course you do. It has to be because your metabolism slows down. So apple cider vinegar can help stimulate your metabolism, but you got to cut out the seven deadly sins. And when it comes to weight loss... Sugar, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, those are the things you have to cut out. Cutting back works good. Cutting out works very good. Let's go back to the calls. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. Oscar, how can we make your day better? Hey, sir, how you doing? Dr. I'm doing Joe. great. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was calling to, um, to see what, uh, what would be the right avenue to take. Um, I've been experiencing uh, lower back problems. Uh-huh. Um, it seems that every time I would uh, drink coffee or, or have a, a soda, uh, the dark soda, uh, it seems that I will have uh, these knots in my lower back. Sure, of course. And I'm wondering if that's um, inflammation or is it something, something else? It's both because caffeine, of course, is a stimulant. I can't even think about drinking caffeine. I know I was at a restaurant the other day, and they had some Ethiopian coffee. And I said, try it. Just take a little sip. I took a little sip, blazing headache the next day. So caffeine will, will irritate and, and cause pain. And also, if you're drinking soda, it has a lot of sugar in it. And sugar is an acid, and sugar can irritate the nervous system as well. So absolutely positively got to cut out the sugars and the caffeinated drinks. Now, that's a good idea, Oscar, but how about this? What if we get to the cause of your back pain and fix it? That'd be a better yeah. approach, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, you should still stay away from the coffee and, and, and the sodas. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. But many right. times back pain, in fact, by far, the major majority of back pain is due to a bone out of place pinching a nerve. And when a bone pinches a nerve, it hurts. Right. But 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. You don't feel your blood pressure, your spleen, your thyroid, your kidneys, your cholesterol, all controlled by nerves. So with the low back, you might have back and leg pain, but that same nerve controls your colon, sex organs, and bladder. So now you might start experiencing things like gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, urinary problems, sexual problems. Pinched nerves in the low back can affect a lot more than just pain, yeah. So um, you probably, yeah, go ahead. Right. So, so So what causes them not on on my lower back. Well, if you drink a lot of sugar and caffeine, you may be dehydrated. The caffeine causes muscle spasms, and so it's a combination of things causing those knots. So stop irritating it. Stop causing the knots. Drink a lot more water, and I'd recommend you probably get a chiropractor to check out that low back to get everything lined up for you. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate the call. All right. Let's keep going here. Sharon, how can we make your day better? Yes. Thank you for answering my call. I was looking at a couple of your products, the Super Greens and the Essentials, and I already got the answer that the other caller asked. But I was wanting to know, are either one of those, do they have any artificial sweetener or sugar in them? Oh, no, 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 no. Because I, of the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, artificial sweetener is the worst. So what we okay, do is with the, yeah, with, the, with this, the essential source, we sweeten with stevia, just a little bit of stevia. Um, and that's it. But no, I would never, ever, under any circumstances, put artificial sweetener in something, and, and you shouldn't either. Perfect. I won't, and I will buy both those products. Thank oh, you're going to love them. Thanks, Sharon. I appreciate the call. 
Yeah, folks, and information on the supplements are on the website, drjoesposito.com. You can just Google Dr. Joe. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the website because we've got to go to break pretty soon. Um, if you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my uh, offices when I'm not on the air. And the website's a great source of information. We archive hundreds of hours, par- podcasts, hundreds of hours of radio shows. So you can go in there and look at different topics and say, oh, I am interested in natural remedies. Oh, I am interested in digestive problems, brain function, whatever it is. And listen to the shows. My, no, no charge. My gift to you. We videotape my live lecture. So I, every now and then, well, I, a couple of times a month, I'll do a live lecture. And we videotape it because I realize that some of you are visual learners and some of you are auditory learners. We want to give you the option either way. You can order the supplements, Dr. Joe Supergreen's Essential Source, Colon Cleanser, my books, Eating Right for the Health of It, uh, Prescription for Extreme Health. And we also have articles that I've written. So it's a really good source of information all the way around. Now, the products are also available on Amazon because for years you've been asking me, I want to order your products, and I have an Amazon account. It's easier for me. So if you go to Amazon, you can also get it there too. The website, drjoesposito.com. The number here for your questions, 844-44-DR-JOE. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Joe, hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be right Hey, everybody, thanks for being here. This is the show where we naturally get you well and keep you well. I want to give you the tools that you need to take control of your own health. Straight talk, no bunk. I want you to have the tools to do it because as time goes on, I promise you, everything I've predicted in the past 30 years has come true, 35 years, uh, when it comes to health care, and this is going to happen. We're in a doctor shortage right now. It's getting worse. A lot less uh, doctor uh, enrollment is down in chiropractic colleges, medical colleges, and next five, 10 years, as, as there's an attrition rate and doctors drop out, you're going to have to start taking responsibility for your own health. You'll have no choice. So uh, what we're talking about today are home remedies that really work. And uh, something that happened, something that is kind of nice is potassium. But, uh, but, but Yeah, I'm talking about potassium and bananas. Uh, loaded with potassium, if you ever have diarrhea, muscle cramps, and you've tried massages and, and that doesn't work, and as a chiropractor, of course, patients come in sometimes and I'll do some muscle testing on them, and they cramp up. And now it could be a potassium deficiency, could be a magnesium deficiency, could be a calcium deficiency. That's why every patient that comes in our office, we want to do a nutritional evaluation on. Now, we don't do nutritional evaluation on a first visit traditionally because I've found that if I give people too much information, they don't absorb any of it. So we like to do a nutritional evaluation. But once we know what the problem is with the patient, we can then better give them advice. So when it comes to nutrition, it's important, but we also like to weave in the chiropractic as well or the other way around because in order to obtain and maintain good health, you have to have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. Those are the three things that you have to have in order to get well. And you, if you're missing one, you might get good results. Eating good diet is good. Getting chiropractic care is good. Uh, making sure the digestive system is working. Taking supplements like Dr. Joe's Super Greens is good. Dr. Joe's Essential Sore is good. But it, I like to put the whole package together for my patients. Some people choose to do one or, or two or, or not all three. I don't argue with patients. I tell you what you need. Whatever you decide to do is going to be up to you. Let's go back to the callers. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. Doug, how can we make your day better? Yes, sir. I just, my wife has to get up oh, several times during the night and use the restroom. Uh-huh. It's urination. And I was just wondering, uh, what should she take over the counter or just, you know, as you say, food to try to control this? Because sure. she doesn't get a good night's sleep oh, at all. Not at all. going on for years. Nope, I understand. A couple of things you want to look at, Doug. Number one is I would suggest she stop drinking a lot of fluids at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Because if she's... Uh, that's going to be almost impossible. Okay. All right. I mean, she just loves you know, herbal teas and all that. Sure. And she's always, you know, drinking something not a lot, but you sure. know, maybe two or three, after, at least maybe three after 3 o'clock. Okay, well, that... Let's, let's try this. Have her not do it for one day. It's one day. Okay. Stop drinking a lot of fluids after 3 o'clock. See how she does that night. If it works, maybe we can convince her, you and me. We can, we can gang up on her and, and get her to do that. Second thing I find with frequent urination, it could be a urinary tract infection, but if it's going on for years, I'm sure that's not it. It could be a pinched nerve in the low back because the nerves in the low back control the bladder. And I've had a lot of patients over the years, we adjust their low back and the urination gets better. Everything from the low back gets better, colon, sex organs, and bladder. So it could be a pinched nerve, could be a lot of fluids, but the easiest thing to do is just have her stop drinking fluids for a day and see what happens. Okay, so I was understanding, I uh, have heard something about pumpkin seeds and 
things like this. I've seen some advertisement, AZO or something like that, over the counter for people who have to urinate you know, a lot. There are medications that might work, but again, that's treating a symptom. It's not treating the cause. So the pumpkin okay. seeds might work, but I think if we just stop drinking past 3 o'clock and see if that helps, and then maybe we can convince her to do it that way. All right. So right instead of three shots of whiskey, only one. There you go. Cut her down a little bit, will you, Doug? <laughs> She's a wild woman, that wife of yours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, man. Doug. I appreciate the call. Oh, that Doug and his wife. Janet, how can we make your day better? Yeah. Hi, Dr. Joe. Thanks for taking my call. You are welcome. <clears throat> I have been diagnosed with irritable bowel, and so I, I suffer a lot with, you know, a lot of abdominal distension. Like, I just always look pregnant. Sure. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and I also have arthritis, so a lot of pain, you know, in my joints. And But it just seems like there are certain times when the stomach makes my back hurt so bad that, I mean, I'm in such pain, I can't move sometimes. I just kind of have to lay on the floor sure. and kind of let it pass. And uh -huh. so I was just wondering, you know, what kind of tips or is what can I drink to help my stomach, you know, not sure. be so, dis, you know, dis distended? Absolutely. A couple of things. Number one, uh, the nerves in the low back control the bowels. So the bowels can affect the low back. The low back can affect the bowels. So you got to kind of treat both. Uh, second thing is it could be a spasm somewhere in the colon. You have the, the stomach can spasm and push up against the diaphragm. The, the valve between your small and large intestine can spasm called the ileocecal valve. So a lot of times with patients, we need to go in there and adjust not only the nerves to the digestive system, but work on the digestive system itself, actually adjust or massage the digestive system. Little trick you can do is get a hot towel. Take a, hot ta ta take a towel, dip it in some hot water, and just lay it across your abdomen. And the hot towel is going to relax your muscles and stimulate what's called your parasympathetic nervous system. There's two types of nerves in your body. One speeds you up, one slows you down. The parasympathetic nervous system slows you down and relaxes the bowels. So by doing that, that might help. Now, the food you want to avoid, number one food for you is dairy. Dairy is the number one food allergen that can cause distension and gas. Number two is wheat. Now, when I say wheat, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, anything with wheat in it because wheat can really cause a lot of gas and bloating. So what you can do is the hot towel, no dairy, no wheat. Let's do this for two weeks. Oh. If I'm wrong, so what? I'm wrong. <laughs> but if I'm right, mm -hmm. which I, that's going to help tremendously, then you're in good shape. Then we want to check the nerves in the low back that control the bowels and then we want to do a little deeper workup on your diet. But I want to give you a few things so that you start to see the results so you know I'm right, and then we can go a little further. So no wheat, no dairy, and hot towels at least once a day. How about that? Okay. Fair enough? Sounds good. All right, great. Yes, All right. Sir. Give us a call back in two weeks. Let us know. Okay, Janet? Okay. Thanks I a lot. Will. All right, bye-bye. All right, and also Janet was talking about arthritis. There's two types of arthritis. There's rheumatoid and there's osteo. Rheumatoid arthritis is the body having an, uh, an inflammatory reaction, an autoimmune condition. And so we really need to calm down the immune system, and we do that by getting all the bad foods out of your diet, the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Certain supplements work real well for the immune system. So we got to calm the immune system down. Osteoarthritis, which is by far the most common, is bones are out of alignment rubbing up against each other. The reason you get osteoarthritis is because bones are out of alignment rubbing up against each other. So what would be the most logical thing to do if something's out of alignment causing problems? Say it with me. Put it back in place. See how smart you guys are? Listening to this show is making you geniuses. So if you have osteoarthritis, the reason you have it, no one's ever told you this. This is our secret. The bones are out of place rubbing up against each other. Put the bones back in place. Take the stress off the joint. And that's going to be the first step to getting the body healed. Any joint can come out of place. The knee, the shoulder, the foot, the ankle, you got to put it back in place. Folks, I want you to do me a favor. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you want more information, go to my website, drjoesposito.com. If you want to order the supplements, drjoesposito.com, also available on Amazon. Hey, listen, we got a lot more to talk about, a lot more things to, that you can do to get well and stay well. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back.
Hey, everybody, thanks for being here. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you're ready to take the next step to get well, you're in the right place. My job is to give you the tools that you need to get well and stay well. We're talking today about home remedies, and I'm actually going to say something nice about coffee. Can you believe that? One of my seven deadly sins, and I'm going to say something nice. One thing you can do for coffee in an emergency, if you're having an asthma attack and you don't have your inhaler or you don't have a way to deal with it, have a cup of coffee or two. Caffeine is chemically related to theophylline, and that's a bronchial dilator that, that's used for many years in asthma treatment. So it opens up your bronchial tubes. Now, use it only in an emergency, of course. If you're going to do coffee, I always say make sure it's organic. But, I'm, of course, if you're having an asthma attack, you may not have the opportunity or the leisure to go look around for that. But here's another thing I want you to consider if you're an asthmatic. In all my years of practice, I found that many every asthmatic I've ever found treated has a pinched nerve in the lower part of their neck and the upper part of their back. And when you pinch that nerve, that's the nerve supply that goes into the bronchial tubes. So I've already had patients full-blown asthma attack. We lay them on the adjusting table. Again, I'm a chiropractor. I adjust their neck and adjust their (sighs) mid-back. And suddenly they're able to breathe. Now, this is not in place of your inhaler. I don't want you to say, well, I'm just going to drink coffee because Dr. Joe said no. This is an emergency situation. But you might want to consider getting to the cause and it may be a pinched nerve that's causing it. Also, you want to stay away from the foods that cause a lot of mucus. Number one food allergen, number one mucus producer is dairy products. That's butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream. Number two is wheat. There they come up again, dairy and wheat. Those are the big, the big two that you really want to avoid. And if they're producing a lot of mucus, you just got to stop producing the mucus because that's not good. Uh, just get them out of your diet. The other thing is stress. So if you have a pinched nerve and you have a, a mucus forming problem and you're under a lot of stress, because I know when I've been under a lot of stress in my life, <sighs> I don't have necessarily asthma. I just can't get a good deep breath, which is kind of, I guess, the early stages of asthma. So something to consider there. Right, let's go back to the callers. Lots of callers calling in at 844 Dr. Joe. Ruben, how can we make your day better? Yes. Um, I'm glad that uh, you all my call because my wife, was suffering from so long from diabetic, and he was, she was taking the we call allopathic medicine. Sure. And I don't want to mention that medicine. Okay. And we spent so much money for her, and I don't mind spending money. Okay. Sure. So what's your question, Ruben? Diabetic what's your, Okay. What's your question? What happened just a week ago? She had severe pain. Okay, Ru- Ruben, 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 Ruben. <laughs> Time out, Ruben. Ruben, just give me your question, if you would, please. Yes. Your question is, what can your wife do about diabetes? Okay. So what happens with diabetes is uh, the pancreas is two types. There's type 1 and there's type 2. Type 1 is the pancreas isn't producing insulin, and that, that's a type you have to absolutely positively be on insulin. Uh, Type 1, I'm sorry. Type 2 diabetes is when you're producing insulin, but the cells are not utilizing the insulin. So what happens is insulin's job is to go into the cells and kind of acts like a lock and key. It, It goes into the cell, opens up the cell to allow sugar or glucose to get into the cell to be utilized as fuel. So what we want to do then is we want to get the cells more. If the cells have too much insulin, they become insulin resistant. And that usually happens from eating too much sugar. You produce too much insulin. The cells are being bombarded with insulin. They tell the insulin, forget it. I don't want to work anymore. And they're not going to open up for you. And so that's when you become diabetic. The sugar stays in your blood. So a couple of things you might want to consider. Number one is do not stop taking your medication. Continue that until we stabilize it. You want to get on a high fiber diet. You want to go to about 60 to 70 grams of fiber a day. Now, that's a lot of fiber. That's a lot of vegetables. The fiber is going to slowly push the sugar through the colon and give you a slow release of sugar, thus slow release of insulin, so the cells become uh, more attracted, if you will, to the insulin, if that's the right word. Number two, there's a couple of supplements you can consider to stabilize your blood sugar. Number one uh, would be gymnema. Gymnema is a, a herb that helps stabilize blood sugar. And number two is cinnamon. I use cinnamon every day. In fact, I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source every single day, at least once a day. That's the minimum amount of nutrients that you need to get your body working. The two powders, I mix them with coconut milk or almond milk, taste great, shake it up and drink it. I'll add cinnamon to it to give me steady sugar throughout the day so that I don't crash, like a lot of people crash around 10, 11 o'clock. 
The cinnamon will help stabilize the blood sugar. So just add about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon right into your super greens, an essential source. It's pretty cool. And then the last thing I would do is check the nerves in the mid-back. The nerves in the mid-back control the pancreas. So I've had patients where we've adjusted their mid-back and got them on a good diet, a lot of fiber, super green, essential source, cinnamon, gymnema, and in many cases, that helps solve the problem. So I would try those things, Ruben, and see how they do, okay? Thanks so much. All right, what do we have? Ah, we got time. Let's take another call. Barbara, how can we make your day better? Yes, um, I'm calling. I have a problem with constipation. I had it as a child and into my young adult life, and then I changed my diet, and it, I started having, it was normal. And then all of a sudden, it seems like it's gone back to being constipated. And I'm already under chiropractic care. And if I take magnesium citrate at night, you know, then it'll work. But I'm wondering why all of a sudden, what, what could be causing me to have it? Sure. Again. Well, continue with your chiropractic care absolutely positively. Ask your chiropractor if they know how to adjust the stomach and the ileocecal valve. Those are two areas that are in the colon. Many times we have to physically manipulate them to get them to relax. So the nerves in the low back control the bowel, so you're already taking care of that. Chiropractor hopefully can get the ileocecal valve and the stomach working. And then in uh, cases that, that we're still having problems, I have something on my website. It's called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser. I the, tried that. Okay. And it, did, didn't, and it didn't really do anything that okay. I could see. How many did you take? Well, I was taking one, but then I called your office and they told me to take two a day right. instead of just one. And okay. that didn't make a difference either. Okay. You can go up to three a day. So you might want to try it if you still have it. Try three a day. And I usually tell people to take it at night. And another thing you can do, we talked about this earlier, is lay a hot towel across your abdomen. Not a heating pad because you don't want the electricity flowing in there. But a hot towel can stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is bowel function. So hot towel, have your chiropractor work on the stomach and the small intestine. Go up to three Dr. Joe's intestinal cleansers a day, and let's see if that helps. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Barb. Appreciate the call. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a healthcare question, give us a call, 844 Joe. My website, drjoesposito.com. You can order Super Greens, Essential Source, Intestinal Cleanser, my book. Send me questions through the website, too. I'm more than happy to answer your questions uh, because we want to have the opportunity to be your doctors. We really do. And we also ar- we, uh, archive hundreds of hours of radio shows as well and, watch- and videos of my lectures, and all of that is no charge because I want to be your doctor. No matter where you live in the country or around the world, I want to get you well and keep you well. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. This is the show that gives you the tools that you need to get well and stay well. We give you straight talk on health care because I need you to take control of your own health because the future does not look bright when it comes to health care as far as you having access to quality health care. So you need to learn a few tricks here and there. The Doctors will be there to take care of the big problems. I want you to start learning how to take care of the things you can do at home. If you have a health care question, I'm going to open up the phone lines, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, something I want you to have in your, in your freezer all the time is a bag of frozen peas. Now, frozen peas are good because they make a nice snack. You know, people always say to me, Dr. Joe, what do you eat? And if you go to my website, actually, and sign up for my newsletter, I'll send you a link to a lecture I did called, So What Can I Eat? And that's kind of fun. But like for a day in my life, people, what, what, what's a day in your life? So I always start out my day with Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Every day starts with that. And I'll, I'll have a salad somewhere along the line. Usually lunch is a salad. Now, sometimes I have a business meeting, and I try not to make my lifestyle, my eating, uh, because I'm a vegan, what I eat as a a big deal when it comes to business because it's not what we're talking about. So I try to find places that are vegan-friendly. Now, here's the thing. Almost every place has good choices. You can go to a pizza parlor and have a salad. Um, You can go to Asian places, uh, Thai places. Korean food is great. So maybe start expanding your horizons and try some different ethnic foods, and I think you're going to be really happy with that. But frozen peas, a little, little trick that I do sometimes, if I'm hungry, if I just don't have a lot of time, take a bag of frozen peas, heat them up. I'll add some olive oil, some nutritional yeast, some uh, Italian seasonings, oregano, basil, uh, dried, and then some salt and pepper. And you want to get crazy, add a little garlic to it if you want. And it's a wonderful, like, like a pea casserole type thing. It's awesome. Very filling, very inexpensive. A bag of organic frozen peas might run you buck fifty. Little organic olive oil on top of that, and some nutritional yeast. Real simple, real easy. But you can also use peas for part of your pain control. Now, a bag of frozen peas wraps around an injury very easily, like a knee, an ankle, a spine, a neck. 
So if you take a bag of frozen peas and just lay it on the pain for about 20 minutes, that can help bring down the inflammation. And as you bring down the inflammation, that's going to help the pain. So you got a lot of reasons why you want to have bags of frozen, of course, organic peas. Now, as an Italian, Esposito, nice Italian name, you got to have garlic in your diet. It's very important. Now, raw, fresh garlic is a natural antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral. And it works wonders against things like athlete's foot. A lot of times people call up and say, Doc, I got jock itch. I've got athlete's foot. Well, for athlete's foot, it works pretty well. Jock itch is a little trickier to use. Take several cr crushed cloves of garlic in a basin of warm water and add a little bit of rubbing alcohol. But you got to crush the garlic. And the reason is there's chemicals in a garlic that have to interact. And when they interact, that's when they become functional. So if you just swallowed a whole bulb of garlic, it's not going to have the f effects. But when you crush it and actually let it sit for a few seconds. So I get, get a little one of those garlic squeezers, you know, garlic press, and let it sit for a few minutes. The chemicals are going to interact, and they're much more effective. You can soak your feet in a little warm water, crushed garlic, and rubbing alcohol, and it relieves the itch and the burning between your toes, but it can actually help kill any fungus that's in there as well. So that's kind of a neat little thing. All right, so we're going to talk a lot more about home remedies that really work, but we've got a lot of callers. If you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. Amy, how can we make your day better? Hi, how are you? I am so happy you called, Amy. Oh, thank you. I'm hoping you have some good advice for me. I um, usually do. My father, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, my father is a veteran and fell about six months ago. Oh. Um, when he fell, he slowly, well, actually, really rapidly, within three months, was on a walker. Wow, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This is a man who was standing on his head for his birthday every year. He's 72. Right. So this was a really drastic, you know, progression of this. And so... The VA's hospital said that it would be three months before he could see a neurosurgeon, but wow. we found a family <laughs> friend that got someone to see him and said that if he would have waited just a few more falls, he would have been paralyzed. Sure. So we had the surgery. Um, my father is a diabetic. He has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well. My. Um, and he's, the problem he's having right now is um, getting better after the surgery. You had said something earlier about the sweeteners causing problems with nerves. and Oh, yeah. Just wanted to find out if there's anything that you could recommend um, that would give him a little up than what he's doing now. So. Sure. One of the big things that I teach my all the doctors that come work with me, they're all trained by me, my doctors. So they they have to intern with me, so to speak, and then I you know cut, cut them out on their own. And my rule okay. is with my doctors, if I don't trust them adjusting me, I don't trust them adjusting my patients. So right. one of the things I teach them is how to balance out the body if somebody has what's called a cerebellar issue. Cerebellum mm -hmm. is the back part of your brain, and as you get older, the blood supply and the nerve supply to the cerebellum becomes less. And right. so one thing I do with my patients, and I teach my doctors, and they all do this too, is I'll have them stand up, close their eyes, we put our arms around them, not touching them, and we see if they fall to one side or the other. And if they fall right. to one side, usually the cerebellum on that side of the body is not getting the proper neurological or blood supply. So then we stimulate that side of the cerebellum, and we either adjust them just on one side of the body, or we have them swing their arm in, in, you know, to send impulses on the weak side of the cerebellum. And many times that helps people that have balance issues regain their balance. So step number that's, one. That's big. Yeah, that's really big. And people are like, oh, my gosh, I'm not dizzy anymore. I'm not falling over. So that's kind of fun. I, don't, I tell them not to do it at home by themselves because they may do it wrong, and then they stimulate the wrong part of the cerebellum. Um, right. <laughs> second thing is, if he fell, now why do you have surgery on? What, 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 what happened when he fell? The um, three bones in the back of his neck, they took three of them out. Got it. Um, okay. I, yeah. And the cervical, and they replaced that with two rods on either oh, side. Yeah. So if, the, um, if he broke them, he probably misaligned them too. So I'd recommend he get chiropractic care as well to get everything realigned. And as a diabetic, okay. we talked about that earlier, a lot of fiber, a lot of vegetables. You know, if you can go up to 60 grams of fiber a day, that's going to push the sugar through the colon, give them a slow release of energy, and that should help tremendously. So get Great. the diet straightened out, get them off the artificial sweeteners, uh, get the spine straightened out. If you bring them into one of our offices, we can do the testing for the cerebellar, and that would be the approach I would take. Great. Well, okay. thank you so much for your information. My pleasure, Amy. See, folks, that's what we do here. We want to give you hope. Because a lot of patients come to my office, and the number one complaint they give me is, why didn't I do this sooner? Thank you for giving us some hope.
Now, a couple of things. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, our products, if you want to get Super Greens, Essential Source, Colon Cleansers, my books, those are all on my website, drjoesposito.com. Also on Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, make it real easy for you. See how easy we make things for you? Um, but our job is we want to get you well and keep you well. And, and a lot of people come to us for second opinions, and many times we give them some real good news. And like I said, we give them hope. Hey, folks, listen, got to go to break. 84444 Dr. Joe is the number here. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, folks, thanks for being here. Glad you could spend a little time with me today. We're talking today about home remedies that really work. And this, this is a fun one. This is a neat one. Uh, if you get uh, stuffy nose, sinus congestion, well, number one, you got to get to the cause of why you have sinus congestion. Usually it's because of dairy products and or wheat, uh, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, and sugars. But if you're stuffed up, you can try about an eighth or a quarter teaspoon of horseradish or wasabi. And you've done that already if you've eaten sushi before. You've had some... Uh, wasabi and boom, it opens up your sinuses. So that's a neat little trick you can do as a home remedy. If your sinuses are all clogged up, just take a little wasabi and, and put it up your nose. It kind of works pretty well. Uh, lemon juice. If you use the juice of uh, lemons on wasp stings or uh, uh, something, uh, any type of sting, that'll help tremendously. If you squeeze it into hot water, it can relieve a cough, sore throat, or even things like bad breath because it helps your digestion. But hot water in the morning with lemon can also help stimulate your uh, metabolism, help you lose a little weight, some people report. Um, and it also, many people say, I have to drink my coffee so I can have bowel function in the morning. A lot of times it's not the coffee that's doing it, it's the hot that's doing it. So if you just have some hot water, some hot water with lemon in it, many times that'll work as well. This way you can avoid the coffee with the caffeine, the acid in the coffee. And coffee is one of the most highly sprayed foods as far as chemicals go. And so you want to try to avoid that as much as possible because we don't want all those chemicals in your body. Let's go back to the calls. If you have a question, give us a call at 844-44-DR-JOE. Dr. Joe, and that number, by the way, rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Bill, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe. It's very good to talk to you. Well, I'm glad. I enjoy talking to you, too. <laughs> I've listened to you for a long time. Yeah, my, my question is um, about uh, what somebody touched on a moment ago. And that was uh, constipation. Yes. But um, my, um, uh, it, it mainly has to do with not as much me, but uh, the females in my family, especially for some odd reason, they they can uh, it it frustrates all of them. They can go for a week, you know, and not go. But um, amazing to me, yes. Daughter, I, I, yeah, I had a daughter who uh, had. A, I still have a daughter. I have four daughters, <laughs> but my youngest daughter. Um, she um, had some surgery, uh, ovarian surgery, and after the last one, it seemed that um, uh, it, it something happened to where it, it would it, it almost prevents her from evacuating, you know. And um, so I'm wondering if the vagus nerve has anything to do with that, um, and uh, maybe you can answer that question. I haven't. I read a lot, so I try not to over Right. Of course. But also, uh, something I was reading in that regard um, mentioned that in the endothelial uh, cells that line, say, the blood vessel walls, also the intestinal walls, and, um, um, and I take, at times, I take a, uh, a pre-workout formula that has the arginine and other uh, supplements in there. Right. And I'm thinking, well, they mentioned gastroparesis and the lack of... Um, uh, the lack of the uh, nitric oxide uh, production in the endothelial cells in the intestine. So right. I gave my I gave my daughter some of the workout formula. She after about the third day, all of a sudden, she was regular. Yeah. and she would take it once in the morning and then regular. Sure. Is there anything to that? I'm just, uh, oh yeah, the nitric o nitric oxide is really important. It's a vasodilator. It opens up your blood vessels, and a lot of us will shut down our right. nitric oxide production by doing things like fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, fructose so, converts yeah. into uric acid. Uric acid prevents nitric oxide production, and there's a problem. So if you're taking the, uh, the pre-work, yeah, that's where it comes from. So if she's doing a lot of sugars and high fructose corn syrups, that right. that's going to affect, you know, for men it affects their romantic function, you know, vasodilation, brain function. So got to cut sure. out that fructose and high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, I try to cut it out. I look at ketchup all the time. Ketchup has so much high fructose corn syrup. Forty-two percent uh, sugar. I won't mention the brand. Oh yeah. Look at them and see which ones are all natural. 
Yes. That don't have and even the big name makers now are making it without uh, yeah. high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. You can get it like that. Oh yeah, crazy people so, like uh, me have made enough noise. So okay, so <laughs> for her, we got to increase the nitric oxide production. Now you can take okay. arginine, uh, to, uh, watermelons, a lot of sugar, but they also have citrulline, which converts into nitric oxide. And uh, arugula is a very, very high source of nitrates that converts into nitric oxide. So arugula is so like the salad, the lettuce. The salad, arugula. arugula, yeah. Now, beet powder yeah. is excellent. Beet powder is loaded with nitrates, um, right. good nitrates. And But arugula even has more uh, nitrates in it than, than uh, beet powder. So have an arugula salad, that'll really increase your circulation. Uh, good for romantic dinners as well, increase your circulation oh, there. You. So. Um, but with the gastroparesis, a couple of things. A lot of times diabetics end up with that. I see a lot of diabetics with gastroparesis. We want to check right. the stomach, see if it's spasmed and pushing up against the diaphragm. If it is, we want to pull it down away from the diaphragm. We want to check the nerve supply to the digestive system. Uh, we can get her on something like Dr. Joe's intestinal cleanser. Many times uh, that's the secret to a lot of people. And once the bowels get working, then we can wean them off that product. Well, I, take the, I take the super greens, and i got to tell you, uh, after about the first or second day, it got rid of my bloat totally because I guess the probiotics. Isn't it amazing? Uh, that, uh, well, thank you for the plug on that because the super greens the essential yeah. source. I I'm just in love with those products. I take them every day. And once people start, you know, they're very excited about it. And if we run out, and I hope we don't run out because we had new order coming in, um, right. people get mad at me if it runs out. So listen, folks, if we run out, I promise you. We're going to get a new order in. I'm going to ship it out to you. I promise. So, Excellent. Uh, but I'm glad you're taking the Super Greens, the essential source. And as my plug, you can always get them on my website, drjoesposito.com, or you can go to Amazon as well. So try the arugula, see if that increases, and the beet powder. Not the beets themselves, because the beets are high in sugar, so I'd rather the beet powder. Right. Um, a lot of times folks just mix a little beet powder into the uh, super greens in the essential source and give them a little boost. The arugula is great. Uh, check the stomach, check the nerve supply to the area, and Dr. Joe's intestinal cleanser. One or more of those should do the trick for her. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate the call. Thanks for taking the products. I do appreciate that. All right. All right. Bye-bye. So if you have a question, 84444-DR-JOE, and again, that number rings through to my office when I'm not on the air. So we're talking today about home remedies, things that you can do every single day to help keep your body healthy. Now, if you're going to do olive oil, and I think you should, I want to make sure that you do organic olive oil. But even some of the organic olive oils, they're sneaking in and mixing it with other cheap oils and then selling it to you. And you're saying, oh, I'm using organic olive oil, and it's not pure organic olive oil. So here's my little trick for you. What I want you to do, take your olive oil, put it in the refrigerator, leave it overnight. It should get cloudy. If it doesn't get cloudy, you got scammed. And so I want you to take that product. Don't throw it out. I want you to go back to the store. Tell the manager of the store, hey, listen, I bought this. It says organic olive oil on it. I tested it. Dr. Joe told me how to test it. It didn't get cloudy. I'd like to get my money back. And you need to talk to your manufacturer. Because somewhere along the line, again, there's a lot of people touching this bottle. Somewhere along the line, they're mixing in some cheap oils with it. So olive oil is great. Now, you can use things like olive oil and coconut oil on your skin. Ladies, men, you can rub it on your face. It keeps the skin supple and moist. It helps with wrinkles. Uh, people come to me a lot of times with dry eyes. They say, Dr. Joe, I got dry eyes. What can I do about that? Just close your eyes, rub coconut oil around the outside of the eyes and all around, and do that before you go to bed. And it's amazing. It kind of lubricates the, 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 the tear ducts. I'm not exactly sure the mechanism behind that, but people say it works. Um, if you have razor a stubble, you can use coconut oil or olive oil as well because this way you have a natural approach to getting that fixed. Folks, I'm going to have to go to a break. I want you to do me a favor. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you want to get Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Essential Source, they're on my website or on Amazon, drjoesposito.com. Uh, extremely popular all over the world, those products. They really are great. Um, so that's a good thing to do. And if you have questions, you can always send them to me through the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, don't go Hey, thanks for being here. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you are tuned into the right show. There you go. I'm uh, nodding his head, Amog, because I missed, I missed turning the button on before, so he's making fun of me there. So, Anyway, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Glad you could be here. And we're talking today about home remedies, things that you can do at home that really, really work, because we want to help try to get you well, keep you well, save you a ton of money. And unfortunately, this show is probably going to be turned into all home remedies soon because we have a doctor shortage. We're in the middle. It's starting here. It's only going to get worse as time goes on. Less doctors are going to doctor school. Less, more doctors are dropping out of practice. Uh, they're just tired of it. They're tired of being abused and picked on in the insurance companies. I'm having insurance companies yell at me sometimes. Why would you treat this patient? Well, because they have all these problems. 
Well, we don't think that was necessary. And you saw this patient how many times? Zero? So the doctors are just saying, heck with it. I don't want to do this anymore. And they're walking away. And then you, the patient, are going to suffer because we are we're, the doctor shortage is starting and it's going to get a lot worse. So you need to take control of your health. And I want to give you natural things that you can do to get well and stay well. A couple of things. If you, indigestion, again, we talk about that a lot because that's a biggie. But if you're going to eat fruit, you want to stay away from the fruits that are really sweet. And so some of the less sweet fruits are going to be good ones. And one of the good fruits that you can eat that doesn't have a lot of sugar is papaya. Now, papaya and pineapple, which is sweet, have bromelain in it. Bromelain are anti-inflammatories. So bromelain is an anti-inflammatory. So you can actually take bromelain capsules if you want to. But if you're going to eat fruit, and I like papaya, try that. Now, a little trick you can do with the papaya is when you buy it, it's never ripe. Okay, Put it in a paper bag. And if you want to put a banana in the paper bag, it even works better. And this way it becomes uniformly uh, ripened because a lot of times you'll buy papaya and they'll start getting rotten spots on it. And then you got to peel it and some of it's ripe and some of it's not. And so just putting it in a paper bag is good. Putting a banana with it is even better. But I peel it with a potato peeler, slice it open, take the seeds out. And if you want to get crazy, by the way, dry the seeds out and put them in a pepper grinder. It's a nice little seasoning. You could try something new there. And but then put some lime juice on it. Lime juice is very alkalizing to the system, loaded with nutrients. Uh, and that's a nice little trick you can do as well. And for hiccups, a lot of people have hiccups and they don't know what to do about it. Uh, you can try things like peanut butter. That seems to work pretty well. If you're going to do peanut butter, make sure it's organic peanut butter uh, because if it's not organic, you've got a problem because it could, cause they, it's grown in a soil that's really loaded with toxic chemicals. But the one peanut that's going to be better than all of them, now I don't think you should do peanuts, by the way, but if you are going to do peanuts, you want to do Valencia peanuts. Valencia peanuts don't have something called a mycotoxin. Mycotoxin is a mold that grows on the peanuts, and many people have allergic reactions to that. So if you eat peanuts and you notice your nose runs, you feel bloated, you're itchy, it could be the mycotoxic reaction. Valencia peanuts are not going to do that to you. But make sure they're organic, of course. Let's go back to the callers at 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, let's see. Okay, there you are. Ahmad, how can we make your day better? You there, Ahmad? Oh, I, th I thought you were actually talking about me. Like, I was not talking about you. What? I'm talking to – we have another Ahmad. Oh, you okay, not my producer Ahmad. Is the other Ahmad there? Hello. Yes, go ahead, Ahmad. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Mr. Joe. Yeah, quick question and request. Number one question is dry uh, hand and also dry feet. Okay, dry hands and feet. Question. Okay. Um, a lot of times that's a sign that your body doesn't have enough fat in it. So you need to increase the fat in your diet. So one of the things you can do is take about a tablespoon or two of extra virgin organic coconut oil every day. And because you can put creams on it, I saw you putting here the creams aren't working. Creams, all, all creams do is they lock in the moisture that you have. They don't really get deep into the skin. But you can try rubbing coconut oil on the outside of the skin so it gets absorbed and then taking about two tablespoons of coconut oil every day. The other thing is you might be dehydrated. And this is a big one. Most people are dehydrated. So try drinking 8, 10 glasses of water a day. Try the coconut oil, rub it on the skin as well, and let's see if that helps it. Okay, that's my question. Um, how about my request? Uh, since most of listeners are drivers, truck drivers, Uber drivers, people working shifts. Um, I think uh, in a very soon you are moving this talk show to a uh, TV show, and that my um, Okay, Ahmad, you're breaking up real bad. Uh, something about an Uber driver? Yeah, most of the listener, listeners to yeah, the talk show are drivers, uh, truck drivers. Yes, okay, I understand drivers. that. Yes, okay. So, so... So if you move the talk show to TV, uh, that might impact a large number of your listeners. Yeah, well, right now, this is the time I got. I, I don't have a say in when my show airs, but we do plan on making it a TV show. That's in the works. Um, and we plan doing a lot more television as well as radio. So you're absolutely right. And so you need to tell my boss that so that he hears it and uh, he moves forward faster. How about that? Okay, that will work. Thanks, Ahmad. I appreciate the call. So it's funny. You see, I got my own Ahmad right here. So. Yeah, was, it feels so weird. Like, I'm not used to hearing my name. Is that for, it's not, not a common name, so there you go. <laughs> right. We were talking, we, Ahmad and I were talking about one of the radio shows uh, around in, 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 uh, on, on the air says that his producer is the best-looking producer in radio. Ahmad, I disagree with him. I think I have the best-looking producer in radio. Oh, thank you. There you go. So there you go, folks. And we can say anything we want on the radio, can't we? No, Ahmad is a good-looking guy. He makes me look good. So uh, Let's see. Joseph, how can we make your day better? Yes, I've got a knot right above the nipple, and I don't know if I've 
I fell a couple times, and uh-huh. it's uh, I don't know if I may have hit the corner of the TV. I have had I do have seizures and all, uh-huh. but it's red around it, and it's getting bigger. Okay, well, a couple of things. If you're having seizures, let's back up a little bit there. Um, what I find with a lot of seizure patients, the upper part of the neck, the atlas bone is twisted out of place, putting pressure on the brain stem. And many times that's the reason people have seizures. Now, also artificial sweeteners can induce seizures. So if you're doing any artificial sweeteners, I'd strongly advise you stop that. Whenever you find a, a lump around the breast, though, I'm going to strongly advise you get to a medical doctor and get that checked out because we want to make sure all it is is, a, is an injury and it's not anything worse than that. So I'm going to say you get yourself to your medical doctor and get that checked for me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. I do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Go to. Okay. Okay. Let's go here. Al, how can we make your day better? Doctor, doctor how are you doing today? Good, man. Go ahead. You got a minute and a half. Go ahead. Uh, okay. My question is, uh, I've been noticing that, that my urine has been bubbling lately, and I don't know if that's something I should be concerned with. I'm a type two di- di- diabetic the last 15 years. Right. Okay. So step number one, I definitely want you to talk to your doctor about that, um, your medical doctor who's ever mon- monitoring your ty- the diabetes. That's important. But I want you to increase your water intake, and that may solve the problem. A lot of people are just dehydrate and the water in the urine is too concentrated. But when you okay. see bubbles in the urine as a diabetic, you definitely want to get that checked, okay? Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much. Appreciate it. So, folks, a couple of things. I want you to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, because we we give out good information there as well. Uh, If you want to listen to my podcast, we have hundreds of hours of radio shows on my website, drjoesposito.com. You just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Uh, If you have questions, send them to me through the website. I'll answer them for you as well. Um, If you want to order my products, Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, those are on my website, but also on Amazon, because a lot of people were saying, well, I have an Amazon account. Why don't you put them on Amazon? So we did. And so... Uh, they're there for you as well. Uh, I'm going to have to go to a break. Uh, if you have a question, 844 doctor Joe. Now, if I don't get to you uh, today, um, what, what I'll do is I'll, I can take you off the air if you're on there. But you can always call my office if you want to have questions, you want to make appointments or anything. That's on the website. Uh, or Just the number is 844-DR-Joe. Uh, now, we come back, a few more home remedies. We're teaching you things you can do to get well and stay well naturally. That is in your cupboard. Hey, folks, tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. Glad you could spend a little time with me today. We're talking today about home remedies that really work. We've got several callers here, so let's go back to the callers here first. Uh, Tucker, how can we make your day better? Hey, doctor, thank you so much for taking my call. Appreciate you are welcome. Um, so, doctor, I have a, <clears throat> my, my girlfriend's um, mother. Uh, she has type 2 diabetes, and uh, previously you mentioned something about type 2 diabetes, you know, increased fiber intake. Um, but I was also, I have two questions, sure. um, they cut to the chase. Um, the, um, would it be appropriate for her to, instead of use like, um, uh, regular, like, uh, artificial sugars or, right. um, like raw sugar, uh-huh. would it be appropriate for her to use stevia? Absolutely. Yes. Perfectly safe for diabetics has over 70 different nutrients in it, but make sure it's a pure stevia. Some of the brand names, the big brand names, um, I'm not thrilled with it yet. So if she can get organic stevia, that would be the best thing. So how yes, about sir. that? Okay. Yes, and sir. okay. My, my second question. Um, and you know, would it be you know, so since she's type two? Obviously, you know we have to. I would. I love cooking, so I wouldn't mind cooking for her and coming right. over, or whatever. Um, and also sharing recipes to make sure she can increase her fiber intake and just eat so much healthier altogether. Um, would it be um, right? Is it, is it a fallacy to? Um, eat in accordance to your blood type? Would that would that somewhat help? <sighs> Good question. The book, Eating Right for Your Blood Type, was written by Dr. Diadamo. Dr. Diadamo worked with his father's research. who worked with Dr. Kelly's research. Dr. Kelly was a dentist, I think in the 50s, actually, maybe the 30s. I don't, I'm not even sure. But anyway, uh, it's a good guideline. I'm not sure I'm buying everything that they're selling, so to speak. Uh, like, I'm a type A, and so I'm supposed to be vegetarian. Well, I am. But there are certain foods that they say I shouldn't eat that I actually do very well with and certain foods that I'm not supposed to eat that, uh, that, I'm, that I'm supposed to eat that I don't do very well with. So is it a good guideline? Absolutely, positively, yes. I think there's a little – I think it, it can go a lot deeper than what it is. So I'm not knocking the book, um, but I don't think anybody should eat meat ever under any circumstances. So I'm not agreeing with that either. So uh, it's okay. I'm not sure it's going to solve the problem though. Okay. Okay? 
Thank Thanks, you, Doctor. Doctor. Appreciate the call. Thanks so much. Uh, let's see here. Betty, how can we make your day better? Hello, Betty. Is Betty there? Going once. Betty, going twice. Betty, Betty is out of here. Sorry, Betty. Um, let's see here. Andrew, how can we make your day better? Uh, yes. My uh, daughter is two and a half years old and lately has been having uh, multiple bowel movements, sometimes very soft a day. Uh-huh. And when we when we don't give her... We think it's dairy when we don't give her milk. Uh huh. Um, it seems to, she seems to do better. Right. So we weren't sure if that's something we should see a doctor on or like a potential allergy that allergies she's well, developed. Just don't give her milk. I mean, every no, we don't have the enzymes to break down cow's milk. Uh, the 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 protein in cow's milk is called casein. You need an enzyme called renin to break down the casein. And unfortunately, as adults, we don't produce renin. And human milk has different casein than cow's milk, so we don't have the cow enzymes to break it down. There's also a sugar in milk called lactose, and you need an enzyme called lactase to break down the lactose, and we don't produce lactase. So I, it baffles me why we would want to eat the milk of another mammal. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I haven't had any dairy products in over 30 years. I'm fine. Um, yeah, so if, if giving her milk is get, causing the constipation, it's real simple to just stop giving her the milk, and sh- she should be fine. Okay, thank okay. you. Easy enough. That was an easy question. Thanks so much. And what we're talking about today, folks, are home remedies, things that you can do every single day to help get you well and keep you well. So we have a, a – let me cover a few more of these here because i got lots of notes that I, I – it's so funny. I make notes before every show. I do my show notes and I research and I use like a fraction of what we ever uh, – what we get to uh, on the air because I, I – and so I've got piles of notes all over my, my offices. So uh, uh, ginger. Ginger is awesome. It's a great herb. Uh, Chinese traditional medicine uses it to help reduce pain. It's been used for over 2,000 years. Ginger can improve, improve blood flow and reduce inflammation in your muscles. And so, ladies, if you're having menstrual cramps, many times ginger is something you might want to add to your diet. Now, not just sprinkling a little bit of ginger on your stir fry. Uh, what I do for ginger um, is I take ginger and I, I, I get organic and I scrub it. I don't have to even peel it. Just scrub it real well. Put it in a food processor, cover it about one-third or one-half with lemon juice, organic lemon juice, and I puree it. And when you whip it around to make a puree out of it, grind it a lot because ginger is very stringy and you got to break up those strings. And kind of the consistency of tomato puree, like spaghetti sauce um, or pizza sauce, I guess. And what I do is I take it and I pour it into ice cube trays and I freeze it. So now I have these ginger ice cubes. So if I'm having a tough day, if I had a tough workout, if I'm achy, I'll take some ginger tea and I'll just take it, put an ice cube in a, a glass of hot water, a cup of hot water, add a little stevia to it, and now you have ginger tea. So ladies, you can try that. And this way it's always available because sometimes you don't know you're going to need ginger. You don't want to go out and buy it and then grate it. And it's, it's just a hassle. So I do a bunch of it at once and make the ice cubes. Now, if you are going to cook with ginger, if you're going to make a soup, or if you're going to do stir fry, you already have it in ice cube form already. Just throw an ice cube in there. And you've got your ginger. So ginger is great for that. A preliminary study in a journal of alternative and complementary medicine found that ginger was as effective as ibuprofen for relieving pain with menstrual cycle problems. Uh, to make your time of the month a little more better, brew up a cup of tea. Warm ginger is great. Uh, I like to make the, the cubes in advance, though. But always try to do organic. And if you're going to eat anything that grows underground, you want to eat, make sure it's organic because if the soil is contaminated with toxins year after year after year, it's going to just absorb them like a sponge. So potatoes, onions, carrots, ginger, turmeric. Uh, turmeric's great. I have it grown in my backyard. I, I compost a lot, and I must have got some compost ginger from a, a health food store I go to sometimes, and I can't get rid of my turmeric. I pull it out, and, I, I, and it just keeps popping up because it grows what are called rhizoids, and it grows under the ground and pops up elsewhere. Really pretty leaves, though, by the way, and pretty flowers. So if you want to plant something that's pretty and functional, just get some turmeric, you know, get some organic turmeric, put it in the ground, and you're going to grow these beautiful tall leaves and great flowers. And then when you need turmeric, pop it right out. See how easy that was? I had a patient call me the other day. Uh, actually, a patient came in the office the other day, and she had a urinary tract infection. She said, can I use cranberry juice? And the answer was, yes, you can. However, it's got to be pure cranberry juice and not cranberry juice cocktail. Now, pure cranberry juice, you want to do organic pure cranberry juice, very bitter. 
So what I tell people is take some cranberry juice. You want to do about 20% cranberry juice. It's usually concentrate and about you know 80% water. And then you can add some stevia to it to sweeten it because it really is uh, has a strong flavor to it. But cranberries have something in there called proanthocyanidines. And proanthocyanidines prevent the bacteria from sticking to the uh, urinary walls, uh, the bladder and, and, and the urethra. And that's why it works. Now, folks, um, if you missed the show, I'm going to put this show on my website, uh, drjoesposito.com. We're going to archive this and hundreds of hours of radio shows there. If you have questions, send them to me through the website, drjoesposito.com. If you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, my products, my books, drjoesposito.com, or also on Amazon. We have an Amazon account. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And, folks, if I don't say it enough, thank you so much for listening to the show. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. About the show. We'll